Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Some of you asked me what I do to take care of my hair or um, how I maintain my long hair. So this is a little video of my little hair regimen today. It wasn't planned at all, but today is my hair care day. So I thought, why not share with you what I'm doing today? Um, so I'm going to demonstrate uh, what I've done. I've already oiled my hair. As you can see, it's pretty oily already, uh, but I'm just going to show you what I use and how I did it. So the ingredients I use are tea tree oil, coconut oil, and castor oil. Tea tree oil is this little special ingredient that I use because um, it's antimicrobial and antifungal. So these properties kind of help to uh, treat any skin conditions on the scalp and the skin of our scalp is very sensitive and vulnerable to skin conditions like dandruff or just dryness and dry skin can um, clog hair follicles and impair proper hair growth so tea tree oil kind of helps to clear all of that away also it is pretty potent and strong as uh, oil so you want to dilute it with something so it can either be just water or you can mix it in your daily shampoo and use the same shampoo or you can mix it in oil that's the way i use it and uh, i'll be talking about these oil in just a bit also if you've never used it before you might want to do a little patch test just to check if you're allergic to tea tree oil so just use a drop again dilute it in water and um, just use it on a little uh, part of your skin just to check if you have any allergies if not you're free to use it now the next thing I use is castor oil castor oil is oil taken from castor beans and it is super moisturizing for the skin and for our hair as well it is very rich in certain fatty acids that help to treat inflammation um, it is pretty dense if you see it's pretty thick and dense so I don't use too much of it I just use a little bit because I don't want to make it too hard to wash away after and then I use extra virgin coconut oil extra virgin because it hasn't undergone too much processing which means that it has retained most of its value so it's very nourishing for the skin as well as for hair in general and it just gives it a very very um, softer and shinier look after washing it away now I've personally never had any issues with coconut oil but I do know people who feel that their hair turns pretty dry after using coconut oil so it really depends on the type of hair you have uh, try it out if it doesn't work well for you then there are other options there's sesame oil there's argan oil there's olive oil as well so choose whichever works for you now the way i use these oils is that i just take half a teaspoon of coconut oil half a teaspoon of castor oil and two or three drops of um, tea tree oil and I warm it up in the microwave oven just for 10 seconds and just a little tip here I'm talking from experience um, I had a little bowl glass bowl I used to use for oil but um, last time I used it in the microwave oven I cracked it because I kept it on for too long and oil heats up very quickly in the microwave oven and it literally just cracked the bowl and that's why now I'm using this little cup um, and today I just put five seconds I checked it it wasn't warm enough I put five more seconds so you just want it warm and not hot then I just mix everything together and I'm just going to show you how I did it so I'll just take off my little band and once I oil my hair I tie them up and I use a band so that uh, my hair doesn't touch my face and gets my skin all, all oily um, I'm gonna, just gonna dip my fingers in the oil and I use the finger pads to massage my scalp uh, if you don't want to use the microwave you can just rub the oil in between your hands just to warm it up a little bit as well and then I start to massage the scalp just gently massaging the skin on the scalp and making sure that you reach every little part of your scalp and work your way toward the crown of the head you don't want to forget the back of the head so once you have some oil you're going to start from the base of the skull and work your way up and I do this 
for about 10 minutes and it's this massage action that stimulates the roots and stimulates circulation. So once I've done that, I do it for 10 minutes. Like I said, I put on my band again so that my hair is away from my face and I let it sit for two hours before washing my hair. Uh, you can even keep it overnight uh, if it works for you. For me, um, it doesn't work very well because um, I just feel that I end up with a cold when I wake up because that oil sits there too long, maybe because of the AC. So it doesn't work too well for me, but if it works for you, that's an option as well. I just let it sit for two hours and wash my hair. Now, since we're here, um, I'm going to tell you a little more about what I do with castor oil. But before that, before I forget, uh, I don't use too much oil on the midsection of my hair. I just rub whatever's left on my palms on my hair just a little bit and I do like to put a little oil on the ends because they tend to get pretty dry so just in the ends and that's it now coming back to castor oil I use castor oil on my eyebrows and on my eyelashes um, because it does help to promote hair growth so I use a little q-tip and I'm going to just pour one little drop of castor oil. Again, it's pretty dense, so you don't want to use too much. I take that little Q-tip cotton bud for my eyelashes. So I'm just going to gently apply some on the base of my eyelashes and on my eyelashes. I do this about three to four times in a week and I do it just before sleeping. I don't do it during the day. This is just to show you, but uh, once I put on this oil on my eyelashes, I just close my eyes um, so that it doesn't cause any irritation. And for my eyebrows, I just use my finger. So I have some on my hand. I just use my finger to apply that castor oil on my eyebrows. And that's it. I do this at night as well before sleeping. And that's about it. And in the morning, I just wash off um, all the oil. Now for my hair, I oil my hair once every week, not more than that. Uh, but you can do it about twice or thrice, depending on how dry your scalp gets. My scalp is not too dry. I do this mostly to stimulate um, uh, the roots and to increase circulation in that part of uh, uh, the head. And that's about it. I hope that you found this useful and interesting. Please let me know what you do for your hair. I would love to know. Write a comment below and like this video if you liked it. And please do share it with your friends, with your family or anybody who would like to know more about hair care. And do subscribe to my channel so that you can see more of such videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.